In this demo, you will see how IM and presence in Microsoft Link Server 2010 helps create a connected user experience, transforming every communication into an interaction that is more collaborative, engaging and accessible from anywhere. Presence appears as a coloured indicator displayed within a wide range of information worker applications, such as Outlook, SharePoint, Office and Microsoft Link 2010, that signals a user's availability and willingness to communicate with others. Thus, it helps a user find and connect with the right person at the right time using the appropriate communication tool. Presence is a feature within Link Server 2010, and it provides end users with rich information regarding the availability of a particular user by aggregating information found through contact cards, calendars, location information, device capabilities and personal status updates. Presence helps a user decide when and how to contact a person they need to connect with. For example, a user is available if the user is online and willing to communicate with others, i.e. when the presence indicator for that user is green. A red indicator signals an inactive user who may or may not be available, whereas a user who is away, identified by a yellow indicator, cannot be summoned to communicate and is thus unavailable. A user already busy in a call or in a meeting is less willing to accept invitations to new calls and can be effectively inactive. Thus, Presence helps other users make informed decisions on how to communicate with the right person at the right time. Presence updates in real time, while the user is checking the Presence information. Kai Axford and Scott Bishop's statuses both update to indicate that they are both in calls. As mentioned earlier, Link Server 2010 displays Presence information across a wide range of information worker applications. Microsoft Office displays Presence information in familiar Office applications. Users can see presence indicators and initiate conversations directly from within Office applications, all while maintaining context. For example, the user, apart from checking for the presence indicator of a contact from the buddy list of Microsoft Link 2010, can also right-click another user's presence icon from the To line in Microsoft Outlook, or from the Modified By column of a SharePoint website, and send an instant message or place a call to that user. If the user is editing a Word document, then by simply viewing the backstage of the Word document, they can view the presence information for authors and editors of the document. Furthermore, the Line of Business APIs allow presence information to be displayed across any custom Line of Business applications, so that the users can know the status of their contact without leaving the application they are in. We will now see how to use presence on a regular basis in a typical work environment. Let us meet Scott Bishop. Scott works for Fabricam, a manufacturing company, as a senior project manager. He has a presentation to senior management on a new product they are releasing. As he is getting ready with his presentation, he realises he needs some additional information on a specific product feature. Scott considers inviting April Stewart to chat. He performs a quick person search to locate April and check her presence information. Microsoft Communicator always provided the capability of using integrated directory search so you can look up and find anyone in the organisation. But now we've made that search a bit more personal. In Link 2010, we've added pictures, which are drawn from SharePoint, so you can quickly see the person you need to connect with. There are many resources within the product team he can reach out to. He is not sure who will be available to answer his question immediately. Before contacting April, Scott decides to see if there is anyone more suitable to respond to his query. Therefore, he goes to Link 2010 and does a quick search with the skill set of people who are best equipped to answer his question. Scott types sales and hits enter. Link 2010 displays a list of people that matches the criteria Scott entered. As Scott looks at the list, he finds that Jose Sareva's indicator shows that he is offline. Scott decides that April is the best person who is currently available to answer his question. As Scott is contemplating whether to call her or walk over to her office, he finds that her current location says home, and he also notices that April has left a note in her contact card. The note says that she is working from home in the latter part of the day. So he decides it is best to invite her for a chat over IM. Note, the location information is also passed to E911 service providers. Connecting could also be about staying informed about the status of colleagues and contacts. Of course, you can see everyone's availability, but in Link 2010, the activity feed aggregates changes in status notes, organisation title, office location and picture. It's a fun way for users to stay informed about important updates to their network and to share information with others. 
Connecting could also be about restarting a conversation with the previous context. Link 2010 stores records of conversations on the Conversation History tab. You can use the Conversation History tab to restart a conversation with a previous context. As April is taking some time to respond to Scott, their conversation is automatically stored. When the conversation resumes, Link displays a notification. April decides to send Scott a link to a SharePoint site where they have stored the document that has the information Scott is looking for. She also decides to introduce Scott to Kai Axford, who is intimately connected with the product. She sends the link over IM as well as through an email. He also sees an email notification from April introducing him to Kai. Note, with Link Server 2010, file transfer works over Edge. Scott quickly reads the note from April, and as he reads through it, he notices that Kai's presence indicator is green, suggesting he is available for communication. To learn more, start a free trial, or find a partner, visit www.microsoft.com forward slash link.